Yeah, you've got back pain because of your pelvic tilt. So is this true? Does your pelvic position, pelvic tilt, cause back pain? Uh, particularly one of the ones which is looked at quite a lot is anterior pelvic tilt, which is where basically your pelvis tilts forwards, increases the lumbar lordosis, the arch of your lower back, um, and it's sort of tipping forward to your positioning. So is this something which is actually relevant? So in this study here, they looked at 120 people who have no pain or symptoms, so no back pain. Now, obviously, if we go by the uh, idea that anterior pelvic tilts are going to be a cause of back pain, we're obviously going to hopefully find that there is very little pelvic tilting going on, anterior pelvic tilting in these individuals. Otherwise, they would surely have back pain. Now, there was a difference between men and women. They found 85% of men had anterior pelvic tilt and 75% of women had anterior pelvic tilt. So this is rather a massive amount. And I was actually interested in the fact that men had more anterior pelvic tilt than women. I was expecting probably to be the other way around. But it shows you that if nearly everyone, men or women, have got anterior pelvic tilt without pain, then you could start to question, does this actually cause pain in itself? So how many people had the magical neutral pelvis? So the ideal, the, the one that we should all have, you know, well, clearly it's not going to be a 50% or above because we haven't got many percentages left. So they found that in this case, it was 9% of men had a neutral pelvis and 18% of women had a neutral pelvis. So obviously a lot more women were more neutral than men in this case, which again makes sense because more men have got an anterior pelvic tilt. So what about the other side of the coin? What about a posterior pelvic tilt, which is where you tuck your tailbone under, you flatten your lower back. Again, this is another one which is labeled as being potentially a problem for back problems or whatever. And this is what they found. So 6% of males and 7% of females. So overall, this shows clearly in this study that your pelvic tilt, whether it's anterior, neutral, whatever, it doesn't seem to make much difference. These people were all pain-free, no back pain, and nearly all of them, nearly all of them had an anterior pelvic tilt. Now, someone else could have back pain potentially, and perhaps their pelvic tilt seems irritating to their condition. Maybe changing their pelvic tilt might make a difference to them individually. But it doesn't mean that the pelvic tilt caused their back pain. Um, it could be something that's causing more pressure on an existing problem or something else. Or it could be that they need to strengthen the muscles or something to take pressure off the back and the muscles they're strengthening are actually akin to improvements of pelvic tilt theoretically. But whether they truly change the pelvic tilt is another thing entirely. So in itself, I think this is not really a relevant feature. However, it's not as simple as that, as it usually is the case with the human body, is that in certain individuals, there probably still could be some scope into locking into the pelvic tilt being a feature of a problem. Not the problem itself though. But it was an interesting one because it was much higher than you think. You think, well, surely most people are going to have a neutral pelvis. But no, most people have an anterior pelvic tilt. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.